Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be unboxing the August Cloth and Paper subscription box. So I am just going to open this up. Um, if y'all have already seen this, I'm still going to share my thoughts and what I'm using in my planner. I feel like I get the subscription boxes really late or really early and there's like no in between. Um, I feel like I got this one pretty late. So let me just grab some scissors. Um, I haven't really seen anything about them on like Instagram. So I don't really know what's in this box. I saw the sneak peeks, but that was about it. So we have the what's inside card and then let's go over each item. So let's start with the big item. So we have the mind mapping notepad or desk pad. So you have six bullets, a note section, reflection section, a spot to put a sticky note and the sticky notes that um, cloth and paper cell do fit in here. And then you can use this to mind map. I am probably destashing this. Um, I saw it in the sneak peek and just not a fan. After that, we have a few dashboards. So we have the space dashboard, a one minute dashboard. And then again, you can use the cloth and paper sticky notes on here. So there are circles in the design. I think yeah, y'all can see that. And then you can use this dashboard for one minute habits. So it just has a few items that you can cover up when you complete those habits for the day. Again, I think I'm de-stashing these. Um, so far, I, I don't know if I'm gonna keep anything in this box. After that, we have the half page monthly inserts and so you have the year, the reminders, and priorities, and this is for 2022. Um, I have just learned that I don't use these. I've tried because I get them in the subscription boxes and I'm just not um, a fan of them. After that, there are graph sticky notes as well as the volume five palette that has graph dot and lined sticky notes. Um, these are the circle dots that will fit in the notepad as well as the dashboards and there are different colors. And then after that we have two inserts from the box. So we have the horizontal weeklies for October. These have been coming in the past few boxes. And then we have a new insert which is the mental download. So let's open this up and take a look at this. So you have the front and then you have mental download, a general section with two columns, a large note section. You have three idea boxes and then a visual with doc grid and a date. So if you are someone who just likes to jot stuff down or you have um, like a project maybe that you're working on, let me zoom in, um, and you just really want to have all your thoughts on one page, I think this will be perfect. I again think I'm gonna de-stash this because I just, I mean I think it'd be cool to use for work but I just don't know if I would use this for work. But we have those so you get an entire pack of that. There is also the Moscow mini shape sticker set. And then you get all of these shapes in the Moscow color. Um, again, I think I am de-stashing this, so I'm not going to open it up just so it's easier to sell. Um, I will have the link to the Facebook de-stash group that I do de-stash things on for y'all. That is one thing that I get asked a lot when I mention that I'm de-stashing everything. Um, and then last up is planner cards. So we have the October card and the planner monthly card does look a little different. It does have rounded edges. There is a what's on your mind card. Uh, let's see if it, there we go. And then we have two clear cards, one quote, and then the month as well. 
money. And then that is everything inside of the box. So I think I'm going to keep the October Horizontal Weekly inserts. And then I think I'm going to de-stash the rest of the box because I just, um, the entire theme and like, I don't, I don't know, for me, I just, I don't like the theme of the box. I know I'll never use these and then I'm not like a huge fan of these designs. I've mentioned in all of my cloth and paper unboxings and sub boxes that I don't like like the new font that they're kind of shifting to either so that really doesn't help. Um, I'm just personally just not a fan. I love last month's box. I think that's probably what was my favorite box but yeah I think I'm just going to keep these for my content planning and then I'm going to de-stash everything else on the Facebook page. So other than that, that is everything inside of the hey set. guys, so I also just wanted to jump on and um, I was editing the video and realized that I just wanted to make a few comments. So it is okay if you love a brand and don't like a product. I love so many brands and don't love every single product. Um, this is not to say that, you know, you can't like something just because I don't like something. Um, I have seen a few comments come in where people are like, well, I love this and everyone has their own opinions. Everyone has their own style. And so ultimately it just comes down to this. Um, I just want to point out that I still love cloth and paper just because I don't like one sub box doesn't mean that, you know, I don't like the brand anymore. Um, I do know a lot of people have mentioned in comments and in DMs that they're just not feeling the sub boxes that much either or the new style so you're not alone and I leave comments but I feel like it's important to include it in the video that it is okay to love a brand like a brand and not like every product that they come out with so just wanted to leave y'all with that and throw that in um, again thank you guys so much for watching mm -hmm.